Search for a home on any device, anytime, anywhere. Private property, a home for everyone. So with Winner Home now in full swing here on Afternoon Express, we are transforming ourselves into experts in all things estate living. We're exploring various aspects related to buying and living on estates. And today we discuss legal aspects related to living in an estate. Joining us today is Lisa Boniface. Welcome. Yeah, thanks for having me. It's so nice lovely to, be to back see you here. Again. Yeah, great. Now I want to know, in terms of running the properties, what is the main body responsible for either the freestanding or the sectional title within an estate? Okay, so Jeannie, let's start with the freehold. Yeah. That's run by the Homeowners Association. So the developer forms a non-profit company under the Companies Act, okay. and that's governed by a memorandum of incorporation. And that authorizes a set of rules. So generally those rules are governed and controlled by your Homeowners Association. And in your sectional title, you deal with the body corporate. Yeah. And the body corporate is formed as soon as one of the units is transferred from the developer's name into a new owner's name. The body corporate comes into existence. And every person that buys into a sectional scheme becomes a member of a body corporate. Automatically. Yes. Okay, now I want to know a little bit more detail. So let's break it down. Let's go to the homeowners association. So I assume that's just homeowners. Yes. What are their roles, their obligations, their responsibilities, and what exactly does it mean to be part of the Homeowners Association? Okay. So what the Homeowners Association controls and administers is the communal property in a, in a state. So for instance, okay. your clubhouses, your golf courses, the streets, um, all the communal areas that everybody utilizes in that particular estate, they ensure the governance of those. They ensure that a levy is provided for and money okay. is collected and the upkeep of all of those items are controlled by them. Okay. So, and, and what you find as well is the a homeowners association is becomes the owner of those communal areas. All right, but a homeowners association wouldn't then be involved in like neighbours developments or renovations or anything, or do they also have a say? Well, remember, like I said to you before, G uh, Jeannie, there is architectural guidelines. Okay. And when you buy into an estate, you buy into their rules. Yeah. And they would then control those rules through their memorandum of incorporation, with, which authorises things like house rules and estate rules okay. and architectural guidelines. Okay. So they would ensure good governance of those items. So, for example, if everybody's house in the estate has to be white, you can't go and paint yours pink. No, definitely. <laughs> okay. Exactly. They want now, us to live in harmony. So. Yeah. I think I love when it's like that. Um, now, let's look at the body corporate. How does that differ and what exactly are then the roles, the obligations and the responsibilities okay. um, of the body corporate? So the body corporate is really responsible for ensuring that the rules, management and conduct rules are complied with, that they establish a fund and that the money is collected in that fund and this then goes to the upkeep of the property and running the body corporate. Um, essentially. So that's exactly what they're involved with, is just running the common property, the day-to-day -day running of a, a scheme, as well as establishing a fund, controlling that fund, and then ensuring things are looked after. Okay, so let's have a look at an estate like Eye of Africa, for example, where there's sectional title and there's freestanding homes. Who is then the body okay. and what is the difference? How can they work in harmony okay. together? So generally when you buy into an estate um, and you purchase a sectional title unit in that mm. estate, you automatically become an owner or you have to acknowledge and consent to becoming an owner of the homeowners association. So the homeowner association is the controlling body and that would mean then that you would need to comply with their rules, uh, with their memorandum of incorporation. Um, so they definitely the controlling body and you would need to comply with their rules as well as your own management and co conduct rules within your scheme. And there can also be two levies payable in that regard. So that's something that a buyer must definitely look into when buying into an estate. And um, if you are buying into a sectional scheme, you'll have levies for the body corporate within your scheme, as well as for the homeowners association to look after those communal areas as well. Brilliant. Thank you so much for chatting no, to us. No, it's a pleasure. Thanks for having me. <laughs> I'm definitely very clued up now on property. Now, the grand prize in Winner Home is your choice of one of three 
fully designed cluster homes at the Eye of Africa Golf and Residential Estate. To enter the grand prize competition, visit privateproperty.co.za and click on the winner home icon to answer an easy question and vote for your favorite design duo.